everybody i am nitisha hope you all are doing great so in this presentation we are going to learn about divisibility rules so this is also my maths holiday homework project so first let's check what is divisibility in maths divisibility means that a number goes evenly with no remainder into a number for example 2 goes evenly into 34 so 34 is divisible by 2 but if you take the same number and you divide it by 3 3 divided by 34 is not divisible because if you divide 34 divided by 3 we will get a remainder but we should not get a remainder if the number should be divisible so 34 is not divisible by 3 divisibility rules of 2 the divisibility rule for 2 states that any number with the last digit of 0 2 4 6 or 8 will be divisible by 2 simply put any even number is divisible by 2 example 246 is divisible by 2 because the last digit is 6 if the number is not an even number it is not divisible by 2 now divisibility rule of 3 If the sum of digits of a number is divisible by three, then the number is divisible by three. Example: If you take the number four hundred nine, it is not divisible by three because if you plus four plus zero plus nine, you get the answer as thirteen. And thirteen is not in the table of three, so four hundred nine is not divisible by. divisibility rules of 4 if the last two digits of a number are divisible by 4 then that number is a multiple of 4 and is divisible by 4 completely example if you take 8512 12 is divisible by 4 because we need to check the last two digits and 12 is in the table of 4 like 3 4 at 12 that's why but if you take 1518 18 is not divisible by 4 because 18 is not in the table of 4 divisibility rules of 5 if the digit on the units place that is the last digit of a given number is 5 or 0 then such a number is divisible by 5 example 5 sorry 350 is divisible by 5 because the last digit is 5 but if you take 1613 is also divisible by 5 because the last digit is 0 but if you take 502 2 is not divisible by 5 and it is not and the last digit is not 0 or 5 so it is not divisible by 5 next divisibility rules of 6 the number should be divisible by 2 and 3 both if the number is divisible by 2 and 3 both the number is said to be divisible by 6 so let's check the example 106 if you divide 106 divided by 3 we need to plus 1 plus 8 plus 6 we get 15 as the answer and 15 is divisible by 3 and you need
need to also divide it by 2 2 is 2 and 3 right so if you divide 186 divided by 2 it is divisible because the last digit is 6 divisibility rules of 7 the last digit of the given number should be multiplied by 2 and then subtracted with the rest of the number leaving the last digit if the difference is 0 or a multiple of 7 then it is divisible by 7 now divisibility rules of 8 according to the divisibility rule of 8 if the last three digits of a given number are zeros or if the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8, then such a number is divisible by 8. So let's take an example. 83,416. The last three digits are 416. And 416 is divisible by 8 because 52 is the quotient and 52 is divisible by 8 so 83416 is divisible by 8 divisibility rules of 9 if the sum of digits of any number is divisible by 9 then the number is also divisible by 9 Example 729. Is it divisible by 9? Let's check. 729. If you plus 7 plus 2 plus 9, you get the answer as 18. And 18 is divisible by 9. 6 9 that is 18. Or 9 6 that is also 18. Now the last divisibility rules of 10. A number is divisible by 10 if the last digit of the number is 0. The numbers are 20, 40, 50, 170, 990 are all divisible by 10 because their last digit is 0. So I hope you all understood what are divisibility rules and the div what is divisibility in maths so thank you for watching and listening if you like this video please like subscribe and share this video with your friends